right way that we are investing in us as a church. You've all got the elements of hope I was promises on from you. Thank you for what you've done for us. The miles that you've travelled, and we just want to say, have an amazing weekend. Yeah. We're thinking of you, praying for you. God bless you. We love you. Hi FOC, happy 45th anniversary. My name is Steve Galbo and I was the associate pastor at FOC from 1991 to 2008 and I served as an elder from 1987 to 2010. I want to take just a minute to honor my friend Wayne Drain. Wayne, we've been nearly lifelong friends. You married Jane and me and you've been a mentor to me. You taught me the ropes about pastoral ministry and you showed me how to love people. You gave me prophetic words that I still hold on to. And even if I didn't show it all the time, you really were a pretty good boss. But beyond our relationship, you've changed the course of so many people's lives. You brought pastoral wisdom to FOC and city pastors and city officials. You've been faithful to prophesy the word of the Lord to the nations. And you've led literally tens of thousands of people into the presence of God. And now you're on a new adventure and you are far from done. I just want to honor and bless you today, my friend, and proclaim God's utmost upon your life. God bless you, Wayne. When I met Wayne the first time, he, I have several different names. Um, I have five names. And Wayne was asking me what my name was, and Greg called me Crystal, and other people called me Day, some people called me Debbie, and Wayne asked me which name I preferred, and I said that it didn't really matter, they were all my names, I answered to all of them. And he thought for a second and he said, what does your dad call you? So that's when, I found, that's when I found my spiritual father, um, in a way. And um, I have I've grown a lot. I've grown a lot um, in the environment that he's created, FOC. By his focus is always God. And I've learned through him that it's not about being perfect. It's really about saying yes to the opportunities that God gives us. That's where growth happens. So, thank you, Wayne. Yeah, so the first time I came to FOC, um, Wayne was, was preaching a, a message called the audacity of hope. And uh, at that point in life, uh, probably I uh, was not, not feeling a lot, of, a lot of hope. And that message really um, sort of confronted me, but also uh, gave me permission to be hopeful, to begin to think bigger and dream bigger, and, and started me on a, on a completely different a uh, different walk, different different depth in my relationship with God. And over the years, Wayne, you have uh, at very strategic times come with very timely words, very fatherly words, and um, have have you know given confirmation to things, have given um, voice to to dreams or desires in my heart that that uh, I hadn't even really dared to. To speak out loud, and you've you've come with words that have, have given almost permission to, to let those things out. Uh, you've also been very good uh, to me to to take me with you uh, on trips and and kind of challenge me to, to step out and, and take on new things and and to trust me to, to take on on new things. And um, I would I would not be uh, in the place of, of life that I am now without you and your your faithfulness in, in my life and just uh, watching you engage in 
your particular flavor of, of leadership, uh, that fatherly, uh, prophetic voice in people's lives. You, you've affected uh, many people around the world, not, not just this, this church here in Russellville. Uh, it's fun to go on trips with you and see people that are grown now come up with words, little yellow sheets that they, they got when they were kids and saying, hey, when I was seven, you had this word for me. Here's what my life looks like now, and it's it's what's on the on the sheet, and just seeing that that generational transfer of, of God's word into into people, and you've been very faithful to do that, and and I just know that that what He's got you stepping into now is a is a much broader uh, expression of what you've been doing already, and and I and I think that the the church corporate around the world is going to be very blessed for what it is that. That God's turning loose through you, and we've been very blessed as a as a couple through you. So we just want to thank you um, and bless you in, in what you've been doing uh, all these years. Thanks, Wayne. Forty five years. That is absolutely remarkable. You know, I have people ask me sometimes if you work for five or ten years at a place, they're just amazed. But you've poured out your life for forty five years into this place. That is absolutely incredible. And I just want to say I appreciate it. I appreciate the work you've put in. I appreciate the prayers that you've put in. I appreciate the tears you've put in. I appreciate the long days and nights that you've put in. I just appreciate that you were willing to give yourself to this place and that, that you held to the, true to those four foundations that God showed you so many years ago. And I just want to say thank you for what you've done. And thank you to Wayne and thank you to June for your efforts in this place in these last 45 years. I truly appreciate it. And I feel like we've got something good to build on in the next generation. So thank you for what you've done. Hey, hey Wayne and June. June, how are you doing? Man, 45 years, wow. It is an honor for us to be able to celebrate with you this, this great time. That is yeah. so cool. Even though we live in different parts of the country. It's just been yep. great to be your friends all these years. And um, we appreciate who you are, your friendship, just our relationship with you. And yep. glad that it's still going on even though we're on the East Coast now. Yeah, it's been an honor for us to work with you guys over these last 45 years. And and it, mostly it's been an honor to be your friends. I mean, yeah. you taught us how to disco in your home. Oh. I, I proposed to Lane. In I your said home. yes. Yeah, a lot of so good thanks. memories. Jeez. You've been wonderful friends. Uh, so it's been a great 45 years, and even though we don't live in the same place, we're excited about this next season of our lives as we live and serve Jesus together. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So we love you, we guys, love you guys so much. See ya. Bye. Wayne, it's just been a, a pleasure to know you and to walk with you and to minister with you and. I was thinking back about the, the time that I, I first met you. I, uh, I came to Tech as a professor in 1970, and I think it was uh, about 1972 that the revival broke out on the campus. And I didn't actually meet you at that time. I, I, I knew who you were and heard uh, uh, stories about you and your life. And, and uh, so in 1975, whenever I actually met the Lord, and, and the revival on the Tech campus had a big part of, to play in that, but whenever I met the Lord and He changed my life, it was you that I, I called. And I remember sitting down at, with you at uh, the old Pizza Hut and, and uh, asking you, what, what happened to me? <laughs> my life has absolutely been radically changed and I, I just wanted to see your take on what actually happened to you. I jotted down a few things on a, on a yellow sheet. I thought that would be appropriate. But uh, uh, then we began to work together and and we did so many of the praise God together. Uh, we saw God move mightily. We we set those up with Witherspoon in different places, and and we just uh, uh, saw so many people come hungry to be together and to uh, believe for revival. And it was just a delight to, to be a part of that with you and others. And and then about uh, 12, uh, 13 years ago, whenever things began to change in our lives and began to uh, show new horizons and new places to go. It was you that I called and asked you what you thought and it was you that I, I, I felt like I wanted to be uh, with and be to minister with the rest of my life and 
so we came to Fellowship of Christians and it's just been a, an honor to be here. I just want to thank you for your friendship and your leadership and your love and your prayers and all the ways that you have ministered uh, to Marianne and I and to our family. And I just uh, I want to bless you as you enter this new phase of, of your life. I believe God is uh, opening up doors even now and, and uh, the prophecy of, of you prophesying to nations I believe is coming to pass. And I believe you're going to uh, see God do mighty, mighty things. And again, I just want to thank you for your friendship and your love for us. Hey, everybody. Uh, Steve Pyle from The Churning. And uh, I was asked to make a video for Wayne's 80th birthday. Oh, is that wrong? Oh, <laughs> sorry. He's not 80. <laughs> It's FOC's 45th anniversary. Uh, congratulations, that's that's an achievement, man, 45 years. In fact, as I, if, I, if that's correct, FOC is as old as I am, which honestly feels pretty young. Hey, I just want to say congratulations, and I want to say something to Wayne. Um, Wayne has been a major influence in my life. He's a father in the faith. He's one of the, He's been an encourager to me in times when I felt like I was just a rebel. Uh, without a cause or with a cause that no one thought was good, but Wayne always encouraged me. Wayne, I'm still doing what I'm doing because you're there saying, go Steve, you can do it. And hopefully uh, we'll continue to make a difference in our city that you've loved for a long time. I hope to carry on your legacy and honor you in the process. I love you, man. And uh, God's best for you are before you. FOC, same for you. Uh, you guys have a great leadership team. Wayne's done a great job seeing um, God's purpose in young people and freeing them up to be a part of that. So I love you guys. Thank you for all that you do. Look forward to serving with you in the future. God bless. Hey, Wayne and June, congratulations, Fellowship of Christians, 45 years of amazing faithfulness, just the stories that could be told. I'm just one of many, many stories over those 45 years. I grew up in that church and just am so grateful for all the things that I learned and absorbed uh, to do with God's presence and God's spirit and worship and just the freedom that is in God's God's presence. And, um, you know, I wouldn't be who I am today without that impact from uh, from you, Wayne, and the people in that church, and just how God placed me in that time. I'm just so thankful for it. So um, anyway, just congratulations, celebrating with you. Wish we could be there. Hope to be there again for another one soon. But um, you guys, celebrate. Have fun. All right. Hey, from our big, crazy Howl Party of Eight, we just want to say we love you, Pastor Wayne. And you, you've been there with us through the start and through everything. And uh, we wouldn't be here without you, honestly. So we love you. Congratulations. And uh, thank you for all you've done for us. We love you. Howdy, guys. Uh, here we are in South London at the New Generation Church. And uh, we have an Arkansas 
uh, Razorbacks football, they're going to catch that. And uh, yeah, we're having a great time here. And uh, we just want to send our love and passion and adoration of you guys. You're amazing. And particularly, of course, to Wayne Drain. Yeah! And of course, to June Drain. Yeah! And of course, to all their kids. Yeah! Uh, yeah, and of course. Uh, yeah! And uh, we want to just say thank you for all the commitment and dedication and help that you've given us over the years. We wouldn't be in the church we are without you guys, without your prayers, without your support, uh, without Wayne's uh, yellow paper uh, yeah. being uh, distributed around our church, around our leaders and so on. So we just want to say have a great uh, weekend. Uh, happy uh, big number. Uh, number is... 45! 45 years of ministry. That's amazing. I hope we can catch that up and... Uh, and do as great job as you have done, Wayne. And so to you, the leaders, to the church there, God bless you all. Have a fantastic celebration. Woo! Come on! Woo! That's good. That's it. That's good. Hi. Hi. Hey, Wayne and June and everyone at Fellowship of Christians. We just wanted to wish you a fantastic 45th anniversary. Can't believe it. You don't look a day over 44. Um, <laughs> It's been amazing knowing you guys all these years. You've always been so kind to us and blessed us so much. And it's been a while since we've seen you, but we just got our American visa and we're legal again. So we can come and see you guys. Hope to and, see you soon. Um, but in the meantime, we just want to send you our love from Ireland and bless you in Jesus' name. And here's to another 45. Amen. Bye. Bye. Hi, Wayne and June and Fellowship of Christians. I just want to congratulate you on your 45th anniversary. I'm sure you're having a wonderful weekend and celebrating so much of what God has done. And we also wanted to thank you on behalf of the UK worship movement for the many times that you've sent and released Wayne to be in the UK over the past few years. And God has really used Wayne to impart and prophesy over so many songwriters, worship leaders, musicians and singers. And... Uh, Wayne is really an honorary Brit and very much part of our community and family. Um, just a couple of stories uh, I wanted to share. Uh, one was when we were recording the album Come Away uh, with Wayne and uh, I'd booked the studio, I'd booked the musicians and uh, we recorded the tracks and then I realized uh, after we'd finished that that the musicians weren't going home and so they were wanting to hang around and after a couple of days, I said to them, sorry guys, I can't pay for any more hotel rooms or any more meals for you. And uh, why don't you want to leave? And they said, Les, because we just want to be with Wayne. And so, and that's, that's all of us. We just love being with Wayne. And then the other thing was when Wayne uh, stood alongside um, Noel and Trisha Richards as uh, they took the Wembley Stadium for the Champion of the World event. Uh, Wayne was like Jonathan standing alongside David and as this big event happened and uh, he was such a support to Noel and Tricia during that time especially. And then the last thing is just a little God, cool God moment uh, when uh, we bumped into Paul McCartney at Abbey Road Studios. So that was a treat but uh, I just felt like uh, God saying, Wayne I've seen your heart delighting in me and I'm just going to grant you this little secret desire. And so we were able to say hello to Sir Paul McCartney and thank him for the music. So, congratulations. Uh, have a wonderful celebration. Love you very much. Good times ahead, Wayne and June. And get ready for the adventure. Hi, Wayne and June. Greetings to such wonderful friends. It's been a privilege to know you all this time. And we're sorry that we can't join you to celebrate uh, this very special 45th anniversary. You have impacted so many people, not only in Russellville, but around the world. And uh, we want to thank you for the part that you've played in our life and all that you've given to us over the years. You're really, really special and dear friends. So we just want to say that in this next season, uh, we hope it's the very best for you, a time of great blessing, yeah. a time of great fruitfulness. And I guess just one last thing to say, Trish. We send you lots of love, and until we see you again, every blessing be upon you and your friends and family and all your people. Wayne and June, 
Thanks so much for your hearts towards Tara and I and our time that we've been at the fellowship. Um, whenever we came, our, we were hurting, and um, you guys took us in. You loved us really well. And then through this process of this journey that God's taken us on, and through this transition, um, Wayne, your heart has always been um, just like a father to me. So thank you for being willing to talk, to be willing to answer questions, to be willing to pray for me. Um, our family knows it. We know that we love you, and we know that you guys love us. So blessings on the next season of life. We're glad you're not going anywhere. We'll get to be a part of this journey even together uh, for the days ahead. Thank you.